Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'd like to show you the how to make a slip knot. Now, when you are starting to crochet, the vast majority of patterns, although they don't say it so, will have you start with a slip knot because this is the one thing you do before you start chaining. The slip knot you see is how you make that very first loop that goes on the hook. Now, let me show you how it's done. First, you wrap the short piece of yarn, the working end, in a loop over the skein end. Then, you pull the short end behind the loop and push it through the loop. Don't pull it all the way through, keep the ends out and pull up and you've got a slip knot. Now this looks huge and sloppy, but the great thing about the slip knot is that it's adjustable. So you can go ahead and put your hook in, pull on the two ends, and as you can see, it tightens right up. You get a little bit better results if you try to have the cut end facing you and the working end behind, and then you're ready to make your stitches. Let's see that one more time. Go over, behind, and pull up a loop. You can actually do that with your hook too. And that way you don't have to worry about making it too loose. Put your hook right in there behind the loop in, that's coming up the loop in between there. Put your finger on it to hold it steady and pull the two ends down. You can see this puts the cut end aside, but then it's real easy to just pull your hook out and put it coming in from the other direction. Let's do that one more time. I've got the cut end in my right hand, the skein end in my left. We're going to create a loop, looping the cut end over the skein end. Pull that cut end up behind and pull a loop up in the center of that loop pulling the ends down nice and tight. Then I can pull my hook out, put it in from the other direction, and I've got the working end in front, the skein end behind, and I'm ready to start crocheting. And that's all there is to making a slip knot. Thanks for watching.